Spoons are one of the oldest instruments. They've been around for thousands of years. These are my Baroque spoons. As you can see, I've got one original and one copy. The original was made in around 1740 by a great spoon maker from Arezzo in Italy called Giacomo Cucchiaio. You can see its age from the various cracks where it's been broken and been put back together by expert spoon luthiers. It also smells old. Mm, I think that was soup. Unfortunately, at some point, the original pair of spoons got separated and the other one probably got mistaken for some simple suit spoon and is sitting in some cutlery drawer somewhere. In fact, if you think you might have it, please get in touch, it would mean a lot. It's really hard to find original Baroque spoons these days. Anyway, I've had a modern copy made, and as you can see, they're identical. The most obvious difference between the Baroque spoon and the modern spoon is the curvature of the bowl. The neck is also very straight, with an arch underneath. This all gives it a more articulated sound with a natural decay. I would argue that the Baroque spoon has the most options for tonal variety and expression of colour, but that's the subject of debate. As time went on, spoons also changed. Beethoven's Spoonlight Sonata and Debussy's Claire de Spoon were pivotal pieces in the development of the spoon. I'm just going to tune up quickly. I will now play a couple of movements from Vivaldi's famous concerti for two spoons. See if you recognise it. Please feel free to comment or ask any questions below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please click like and subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks for watching.